I have a penny and a neodymium magnet of about the same diameter. You can tell which one's magnetic, of course, by holding the screw nearby, but also notice that the copper is non-magnetic. I also have here a five-foot copper pipe. I'm going to hold this up to the camera so you can see down the length of the tube. And then I'm going to drop the copper penny through first. Notice it gets to the ground fairly quickly, but then I take the neodymium magnet, let it pass through, and notice that it takes a lot longer to get to the bottom. How about that? Okay, I have the same penny and neodymium magnet. Notice that the aluminum in this chalkboard frame is non-magnetic. Also, the chalkboard that I'm using as well is non-magnetic. But of course, the magnet will stick to a steel plate. If I take the copper penny and let it slide along the aluminum frame, of course, it gets to the chalkboard tray quickly. But if I do the same thing with the magnet, it takes a lot longer to get to the tray. To show you that it really is the aluminum that is causing this, I'm going to let this magnet slide along the chalkboard itself. And it gets to the tray quickly.